In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I make these edible eyeballs for this smoky cauldron cake. So I'm starting off uh, using a scrap piece of fondant to wipe my hands on, roll in my hands and roll on my countertop, and then any other tools I'm going to be using, like uh, if I'm using a rolling pin or anything. This is what I do just to make sure that I don't get any lint in anything because you know how that can drive you crazy when you get those little limp pieces in there. Yeah, no, trying to avoid that. So I first did that. Now, I have a mix here of fondant and modeling chocolate. And that's just so my eyeball will stay um, in its round shape while I'm working on it because I'm making these at the last minute. If you could make them the night before, you could definitely just use fondant, but because I'm doing this all in one shot, I wanted to add some modeling chocolate into it to kind of give it a little bit more uh, structure um, while I'm working on it. So now I've just rolled my piece into my eyeball shape, nice and round, back and forth, um, with just with your hands. Get Use the heat of your hands to get the cracks out of the fondant smiling chocolate mixture and that should be easy enough and get your nice ball shape now I've got it on a skewer just so I can kind of work on it and moving on I have some wafer paper here and some edible art paint love this paint okay so I've got black but um, I'm going to show you how you can paint on wafer paper using this edible art paint which generally painting on wafer paper is not super easy to do because wafer paper likes to dissolve when you put anything wet on it. But this paint is awesome. You can see how great the paint goes on the wafer paper. Now I'm using this um, brush that's part of an oval brush set and this one particular brush is thin and skinny and it's not great. So I switched over to a regular brush and I'm dabbing it on there on top and I'm getting a nice dark black color. I actually am not going to use the black wafer paper for this project. I was going to but I changed my mind. So I got some blue, some navy blue and I have a hole punch here. Um, you would just want to get it's not a hole punch, it's a wafer punch, it's a paper punch. You just want to get the right, you, know, you should have a bunch of these around if you work with wafer paper a lot because they're awesome to just be able to punch little circles out of. So find the right size circle for your eyeball and we are going to make the iris. So I've got the blue on there, now I just use white and I'm just, you can see, yeah I only caught it on camera there for a second, sorry about that, but I just wiped some white on like with little brush strokes around kind of the center not all the way out to the edge I'm leaving the edge a little bit darker I just brushed it in towards the center in like a circular fashion and that gave me a cool looking iris now I've got some water I'm putting on the back of the blue wafer paper here just a little bit don't soak it you're gonna dissolve your wafer paper and I'm going to pop it right on the eyeball Wafer paper, if I can use it for a project, I will use it because it's just so much easier, in my opinion, than rolling out the fondant or the molly chocolate and trying to get it in the perfect shape and keep it in the perfect shape while you move it and transfer it and whatever. And it's nice and thin, so for this eyeball, it was really perfect. Okay, and then I've got um, another one of these brushes from, this, from the, one of those oval brush sets that you can find online. And... I just dabbed it into the black edible art paint and dabbing it right into the center of my wafer paper and it gave me a very very nice pupil for my iris and you know you can work with that a little bit more and fix it up if you didn't get a perfect circle but it did make a nice circle almost every single time and that was just a super easy way of making the iris and the pupil so now I've got an edible marker and I'm just, it's red, and I'm just squiggling on some veins towards the back of the eyeball because this is going to go in a Halloween cake, and we've got to have veins on the eyeball and Halloween cake. Nice and easy, simple, keeping this eyeball simple because we've got lots to do on the cake. And then you can skip the next part here. You can just leave that and then go to the confectioner's glaze. But 
If you want to add a little bit more gruesome, gooey stuff to the eye, like it's been ripped right out of the socket. <laughs> Uh, not really a gruesome girl myself, but uh, I thought I'd go for it anyway. I've got some red modeling chocolate here that I rolled into a ball shape, and now I'm using my um, finger and my thumb here to kind of pinch the edges so I can form this cup shape because the eyeball is going to fit into this cup shape that's going to go on the back of the eyeball, but we, we do want it to come up and around the eyeball just a little bit. So use your fingers to really pinch. I tried it out with the eyeball and this wasn't quite uh, deep enough yet. Just pulled it right off the stick there. Not quite deep enough. So I'm going to pinch in even deeper. And then I was squeezing the back of it as well to kind of form that like retina, ripped retina look. <laughs> yeah, I know. And now it fits great so I'm just kind of pushing the flaps closed around the back, but you can thin that out a little bit more if you want to. And then I just kind of push it and twist it a little bit and make it a little ragged. Yeah, you know, ripped eyeball and stuff. <laughs> okay, so eyeballs, um, if they're ripped out of the socket especially <laughs> have a little bit of blood you know hanging around them so I got out the red at a bar paint and decided to just brush a little red right in between where that red modeling chocolate meets the eyeball just so you know so a little bloody stuff going on here I <clears throat> you know me not really in love with blood and gore, but this is about as far as I'll go. <laughs> so just brush it on. You don't want it to look too even because, you know, you rip this thing out, right? So just kind of go at it. I've got my Dresden tool here now. I'm just making kind of marks that go around the red modeling chocolate part just so it looks, so it doesn't look smooth. We don't want it to look smooth. We want it to look not smooth. <laughs> okay, and then lastly, I've got my confectioner's glaze. Confectioner's glaze is a beautiful thing, but it can also be a very terrible thing. Do not get it on any anything else other than what you want it on because it will stick and it will not come off unless you have confectioner's glaze thinner that will take it off. So, I've got on my paintbrush here on a paper towel so it's not getting on my countertop and I'm gonna start brushing the white it's okay if a little bit of red kind of smudges because that's fine but then I just kind of do you see how I just touch the wafer paper with it on top because we don't want to mess up the paint job so just carefully touch the paintbrush to the top of it and your eyeball should not smudge hardly at all and brush the rest of it. Make sure you get the thinner to get all of that glaze off your paintbrush or you'll have to throw your paintbrush away. And you've got some edible eyeballs for whatever you want them for. Happy Halloween! And if you want to see how I make this smoky cauldron cake, the full video tutorial step by step is over on cakeheads.com if you want to check that out. Okay, see you later guys.